tell me, for somebody who doesn't know you, what kind of guy are you? Well, first of all, I was raised in the church, okay? Okay. All my life. And I have a great job to do, and this is going to be part of my testimony, everything that I went through. I don't know if you um, go to church or read the Bible, whatever the case may be, but if you notice in the Bible, every great man has a testimony. And this is going to be my testimony. When you take uh, Daniel in the lion's den, they basically put Daniel in the lion's den. And if you read the Bible, and if you read the story about Daniel, not only did they put him in the lion's den, but while he was in the lion's den, the angels came down and they closed the mouth shut of the lions so that the lions could not harm Daniel. And that's basically me. Right now I'm in the lion's den. I got put in the lion's den. And my situation seems impossible. There's no way I'm going to get out. But I'm here to tell you, I will be out of jail real soon. Because what's impossible with man is possible with God. I was born and raised in the church. But I'll be the first to admit, me as a knucklehead, I did some things that I shouldn't have done, which was got involved with drug dealing. That's something that I admit. That's something that I've asked God for forgiveness for. That's something that I've asked my church family for forgiveness for because I was totally wrong. That's something that I never should have done. Okay? okay. But God forgave me of that. Now, as I did wrong and I admitted my wrong, I admitted my ways with God, I asked God to forgive me. I got out of jail. When I was out of jail, I lived the life that I was supposed to live, okay? But to elaborate on my upbringing, yes, I was brought up in church. Church is something that I did all my life. The whole world knows that I went to church. Um, Do you recall? That's why I elaborate on if I had any enemies or somebody thought I harmed them or did something to them, I was the easiest person on earth to find. Um, I grew up. I went to MATC. I went to cosmetology school. I did hair. I worked in several salons over my um, life. I also owned my own salon, which um, I heard you went to. Um, not only did I own my own salon, I had a, a, a clientele of people. If I was this terrible person, and I'm, everything I've ever done in my life put me on front street. I was always seen by the public eye because I was a servant of the public. You understand what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So, basically, I was a young man that grew up. I always had the aspirations of, uh, what you just say, being rich or having money to provide for my family. And I set out to do that. Some things I did was wrong. I shouldn't have done it. But the bottom line is, when God forgives you, it's done. It's over with. God forgave me for the drug dealing that I had, whether it was big, whether it was small. Sin is sin. I asked God to forgive me. But throughout my life, I kept on going, and I was blessed. I come from a blessed family. I come from a blessed home. I come from a good mother. I come from a good father. Uh, my grandparents, my grandma, my granddad, my brothers, my whole family is involved in church. 